Hey there, I'm Parker, and in this tutorial, I'm going to go a step further and show you how to use auto layout to build responsive cards and grids. If you haven't already, make sure to watch the auto layout basics tutorial to get a full understanding of the options and settings we'll be working with today. So let's jump in. Now, cards are a common design element when you want to build something like a team grid. In this example, each card is actually made up of a set of elements. In this case, an image, some text, and social links. But the grid that we will be creating is actually the entire container that houses these team cards. By utilizing auto layout and the power of wrapped content, we can make these cards easy to update and ensure they will stay responsive if we remove or add cards. So first, as always, I'm gonna add our elements that will go into creating a team card. I'm gonna add an image using the shortcut I and drag and drop to my canvas. Then I'm gonna add some text using the shortcut T and I'll go ahead and change the text color to white as well. Next, we can search the Add menu for Shapes. And we can go ahead and click and drag and drop directly onto our canvas. The next thing we'll wanna do is change the color to white just so that we can see it on a black background. And then we can double click to open up the Shape Library. And we can search for an icon like LinkedIn as well as Twitter. We can also adjust the size of the shapes by going up to the style panel and choosing a fixed value like pixels. For this, I'm just gonna set it to be 20 by 20 pixels. We can then size the image too in pixels. In this case, 320 by 400. To finish up, we're going to add our name to the card. So Parker Tinsley in this case, the role, uh, creative producer, and also just some placeholder text uh, for description. I'm just going to reposition some elements just to stay organized. And then we can select all the elements and enable auto layout by going to the right side style panel here or using the shortcut Shift A. The really nice thing is that we can see in the page content panel that that created the frame for us. And now we actually want to do a little auto layout frameception. We actually want to enable auto layout for the social icons inside this frame so that they're easier to manage. Sometimes when you do this, create an auto layout frame inside an auto layout frame, it'll actually drop down to the bottom of the section like this. But all you need to do is just reposition it really quickly and it'll snap back to the right spot. From here, we can actually enter the auto layout menu. And for this social icon frame, we're gonna set the direction to be horizontal and make the min gap 20 pixels. I'm also just gonna align the social icons within the frame to be horizontally centered. Great, so now we're actually gonna input our image by double-clicking and selecting something I've already pre-uploaded to our media library. We're then gonna set the proper headings for this text. For the title, I'm gonna choose H2, for the role, H3, and for the description text, we can just keep to the body. We'll also need to go to the style panel on the right-hand side to set our colors and our font. So I'll change everything to be white. I'll also choose a different font family. For here, we've chosen Montserrat. I'll kind of play with the font size just to be able to get something that I like. As well as playing with the font weight. For here, I kind of like bold or semi-bold, so I'm just going to see what that looks like. And lastly, this is important to do before we duplicate the cards, but we'll need to adjust the margins as well. To access the margins, we can go into the style panel and we can change it per heading. So for H2, I'm gonna kind of just play around again and see what I like. Same for H3. Again, this is really important to do before we duplicate the card.
Great, so now that we've done that, we can set the options for the auto layout card. For this, we're gonna keep the direction to be vertical, keep distribute to be packed. We can edit the min gap to be 30 pixels or 20 pixels to create some room. Also remember the handlebars are a handy tool to do this visually. Now we still won't do wrap content, but don't worry, that's gonna come a little bit later. And lastly, we can shift the alignment depending on what we want the car to look like. But for now, I'll keep it to left and top aligned. So we do wanna make sure that the card is still in pixels. So we're gonna go up to the size and the style panel and just fix it by again, changing to pixels, setting it as 320. Also, we'll fix the image to be 400 pixels in height. Nice. Now the card is pretty much done and we can see that on tablet and on mobile, it's already responsive. So now we can start to duplicate the card by copying and pasting and starting to create the grid. I like to space them out and align the cards evenly, but you'll see later that this is actually controlled by the auto layout options. Because the grid will have multiple rows and the padding top and bottom will be a bit different than our minimum gap, we wanna find a way to be able to control and manage that additional padding. To make this easier to update and manage, we're actually gonna add padding to the bottom of the card using the style option. And we can save it as a shared style like team card. Then we can look to apply that shared style to all the cards in our grid. That will make padding easy to manage if we ever need to update. Great, now we can duplicate the total amount of cards that we want in our grid, and we do that just by copying and pasting and placing below into our section. Now let's skip to the good part, more frameception. Now that we've done all this, we've created our cards, we can now select all the cards that we built and once again use Shift A to create an auto layout grid. You'll notice that shifted the position of everything, but don't worry, it's gonna be easy to adjust and fix. So now we essentially have three auto layout frames in our canvas. We have one for the full grid, one for each individual card, and lastly, one for the social icons. Now that we have the grid, we can open up the auto layout menu. For this, the direction is still gonna be horizontal, and we can adjust the gap to be 30 pixels. We'll set the alignment to be center, and set distribute to space evenly in this case. But now it's time for the best part. We can finally enable wrap content. Check this out. We can see this already created the layout and responsiveness we needed. In short, wrap content will take into consideration the width of the entire container, in this case, the grid, as well as the project breakpoints. The items in this container, instead of getting cut off, are now wrapped down to the next line. We can see that the width is set to auto, but to go one step further, we're gonna change this to just 100%. And because of our alignment settings, the card already is centered on tablet and mobile. There's no further adjustments needed. The absolute best part of this, we can easily add as many new cards as we need, and it will be made fully responsive because of our auto layout frames. This makes it so much easier to control and manage. And that's how you set up cards and grids with auto layout.